So I spent today cleaning um, and listening to the Johnny Depp Amber um, court cases, right? And at first I thought that Amber Heard was a sol solid narcissist. However, I think there's a lot going on between the two of them. I think they had a really intimate um, space between each other at one point. And I think that, oh man, I think that, um, I think that uh, a lot of forces got in between their relationship. I think that um, ambition was one um, for her. I think she wanted to be better than uh, Johnny Depp when it comes to being an actor in his craft. I think she wanted to show that she was better than him. Um, however, I think that she gives him reverence as well. I think she feels he is a god to her. He is not, he wasn't just her husband, but I feel like he was a god as well. But there's underlying things. There's different currents going on in their relationship. For one. I think for her to be as aggressive and fight as, as hard as she does um, and instigate certain fights, I think that she had a very extremely traumatic childhood. I think there's a lot going on that's not being spoken of. I think that this little girl, as a little girl, I think she was used and abused and I think, I think that nobody did anything about it. And I feel like her aggression, because the only person that, and I can see by watching her body language in her face, you know, people can say, oh, she flips at, you know, her anger flips at the drop of a hat. Yes, it does. That's part of her narcissism. However, there's, there's certain components to her concerning him. And I feel like she felt free with him. I think he is, he really is a gentle soul at heart. I think he's the type of man that women who get involved with him release themselves. They they're very they can be very free with him they can be very open with him i think he creates an environment for any woman that is involved with him to be can't for them to be able to be expressively themselves however the problem is is that uh amber heard i think has has a lot of traumatic stuff in her childhood that she hasn't dealt with as well as johnny depp johnny depp talks about things that his mother did that are certain traits that she herself has, right? I think if there was a lot of psych, if, if people dug really into the psychology of the two of them, I think these are, these are two, because watching their fights, right? Listening to their fights that have been recorded, listening to their arguments, I think that, uh, I think they have a lot of childish things. They're, these are two very highly intellectual people, right? no doubt about it extremely intellectual however there's components in their relationship that are very childlike very childish and i think that i think that the two of them allowed themselves to be expressively whether tox, toxic or not and i think they had the the toxic components of both their traumatic childhoods come out in that relationship for a fact um I see her being very sorrowful like people can say she's an actor she's an actor she's an actor however no I I see admiration towards him oh and anger as well um but when she looks at him she's still in love with that man did she do other things yeah is she reckless yeah is she toxic yeah does she have points of narcissism? Yes. However, I think that woman truly loved him, and I think he loved her too as well. I think the reason why he kept his mouth shut about all the time she beat on him, hit him, and when he even said from his own mouth, she hit him in the face and he said, are you done yet? Do you want to hit me some more? He allowed her to do that. Did he want her to do it? No. But he allowed her to get it out. I think he knows a lot more about her childhood, her her upbringing, and everything that she's experienced more than anybody else. I think she opened herself completely up like a lotus flower unto Johnny Depp. I believe that. Um, 
I think that I think that if under the right circumstances where the two of them could be healed, I think they could have been okay together. I think there is a very fire plus fire dynamic between the two of them. However, Johnny Depp also knows how to go to the faucet or go to the water hose and put himself out. I think he personally knows how to control that fire within him. I don't think she does, right? Um, what are some of the points I saw today? Um, just the fact that when she sliced it or threw the thing and it sliced his fingertip off, right? He didn't, he didn't press charges. He didn't want her to go to jail. He didn't want her to go to prison. He didn't want any of that stuff, right? He didn't want to ruin her career. But I do think, I personally do think that there are forces there are people in Hollywood, high up into the Hollywood scene, people in power in Hollywood, right? That paid her or promised to pay her to ruin Johnny Depp's career. It could be Disney. It could be any of those big major film industry uh, moguls, right? It could be any of them. But I believe, honestly, psychically, I believe that somebody in that industry promised her what she's always wanted. She's very competitive. This is a woman that's extremely competitive. She is the type of woman that if she's not the number one or can become the number one, she's never satisfied with herself. She's the type of person that is a cup that can never be filled. She can never fill her cup, which is herself, enough for herself. Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp is very, very happy with where he's at. He loves what he does. He loves the creativeness inside him. He's very in tune with his creative energies in his craft. And he, he's content. This is a man that is extremely content with no matter what he does, right? But Amber, Her Amber Heard is a cup that can never be filled, unfortunately. Um, can she grow to the point of accepting herself and, and being okay with where she's at? Because she could have been okay with just Donny, Johnny Depp. If she wasn't as, as competitive as she is, she could have the two of them could have got counseling extreme counseling uh they could have did they could have met up with very very good spiritual advisors and they could have they could have saved their marriage and they could have actually corrected all the toxicity in their marriage but i think she's so competitive that that wasn't a priority at the time when she looks back upon the marriage, right? And she looks back upon Johnny Depp. I see sorrow. I see a woman that understands that she could have had so much more with Johnny Depp than what she received. I saw her in the in the uh, videotapes or the sound clips that they played when she was antagonizing him chasing him from room to room right he wants to go in a room and he wants to fill himself up with his music he's playing his guitar and he just wants solitude and she 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 has no inner peace this is a woman who has she has absolutely no inner peace and so because her spirit is chaotic and disrupted and she can't calm that energy in herself she doesn't have the ability that's why all these drugs are involved right drugs for her quote unquote dr drugs for Gen Johnny Depp like Johnny Depp is dealing with his traumatic stuff from his childhood and he's not doing it like an adult because an adult will hit it uh, pull it out of the all that information out of the closet and deal with it one by one Instead, these people hide behind drugs, alcohol, and things like that. 
to numb themselves. Even any, even Johnny Depp said he tried to numb himself with, with whatever um, prescription that the doctor gave him that would a sedative, a literal sedative to knock him out, right? When he talks about being on the plane and when they said he had blacked out, it wasn't about him blacking out. It's like that man was out for the count on those sedatives, like a horse tranquilizer. You give a horse a tranquilizer, you give a an elephant a tranquilizer, can they get up and fight as strong as they are? No. Any any veterinarian can do whatever they want to that animal when they tranquilize it, a tiger, a lion, or whatever. When you tranquilize them, boom, they're out for the count. There's no there's no fighting. There's not there's nobody going to fight. So I think that Johnny Depp if, has proved that she was the antagonist. However, does he like proving that she's in, the antagonist? No, but he is trying to save his name. I think that Amber Heard, yeah, she's young, but she's got a lot of stuff to deal with. This is a woman that has a lot of growing to do. She has a lot of maturing to do, and she has a lot of soul searching to do. She needs to get therapy and she needs to deal with the monsters in her head. She's taking out on Johnny Depp her pain, her inner pain. He, unfortunately, he laid himself out for her to do that because he is a soft soul, he is a gentleman. And unfortunately, he is, he is, he's the um, punching bag. He's been the punching bag in that mar in that marriage. And he got harmed, you know, he got his finger slit or almost, well, severed, cut off. Had to be sewn back on, reattached. He's had several bruises and, stu and stuff. But I think there's forces behind this marriage that are pushing her to lie on him, have li to, to have lied on him, to set him up, to do all these things. And now she's reflecting back. I really believe this woman is reflecting back and she's realizing that she was a pawn. Johnny's a pawn and she's a pawn. So whoever's in the power play position, whoever's running and driving the car of this Hollywood <laughs> fiasco, right? They're very diabolical, I believe. This is just my perspective. It doesn't mean it's factual. This is just me personally saying what I see in this marriage.